Hello strange things and welcome back to my channel. I apologize in advance because my cat is playing with his toy. Um, so there's going to be a lot of noises going on in the background. Um, I'm sorry that I kind of went off on the haunt series. I do plan to go back to that at some point. Um, I do really want to go over the experiences that I had at a lot of the local um, haunts in our area. We just didn't really get to go any in 2020 because of COVID. I know a lot of them were open, but to be safe, we decided not to. Um, and the company that we are unboxing today, which you've already seen from the title, which is not your average babe company, um, I have creeped on them for a while. It was actually, I believe, a Facebook advertisement. It was one of those scam sites that had one of their outfits on it. And I know when they're a scam site and somebody had commented saying, hey, that set is originally from this company. And I went to go check them out and they had a lot of really cool horror themed merchandise, not only clothing, but a lot of other things that they've added since then. They have a really cool coffin flask that I think is back in stock. Um, I have really have no use for it aside from the fact that it looks cool. So without further ado, this is one of their um, monthly subscription boxes. I did a one-time purchase on it, I believe for the month of February. You can do um, each month sort of like when I did Creeper Crate, and they're gonna be less expensive, and I believe they have a small and a large version. This is like a one-time box, so I don't really think there was an option to do large or small. Um, I have not actually opened it, as you can tell. This is my first time going through everything in here, and we'll give a review and see if it's worth the hype and see uh, what we got from them. So let's jump right in. Ooh. So the reason I really wanted this packaging is because they were doing these black heart boxes, which I think is super cute. So I'm very excited for that. And here on the side, we have, I'm thinking it's a t-shirt because I think I saw somebody else on their page wearing it. So this is their February one-time box. And they did have some um, description on the website of what was going to be in it. I don't 100% remember, which is a good thing. It is a t-shirt. All right, so we have... The is the design it's like a skull flower bouquet the t-shirts come in unisex because they had message because I actually did not put in my notes which size I was um and they actually their customer service is fantastic they texted me to ask about my size um and I said if it was you know women's it's this size if it's unisex it's medium so I'm guessing their t-shirts for future reference come in unisex sizes this is really cool I love red I don't want to open this <laughs> Because it's so... Oh, I don't think I have to. <gasps> oh, I might have to. Ooh! I have... O I only have eyes for you. So we have a Beetlejuice print. That's really cool. That's definitely going to go up on the wall. I'm trying to see if I don't have to, like... I don't want to untie it, but I think I have to. Ooh! Alright. The packaging on this box is really pretty. So we have Mini Magic... It is soy tea candles and pumpkin cinnamon vanilla. Let's just rip these bad boys open. Not that you guys can smell it through the camera, but I want to see the aesthetic of them if I could open it. Because I'm really bad at opening things. But I also have my handy dandy scissors handy. And I like to just destroy stuff. So this is from Magical Macabre, it looks like. Oh, those are pretty got the sparkles in it it smells like pumpkin which is my favorite and there's two of them in here so it's like a valentine's day theme box so you have your tea candles you have your little love print Ooh, we have a vial necklace now i used to make these back in the day and i've been thinking about going back and maybe starting to do those again this is from skulls and bones gothic jewelry and home decor so here's their business card and we have, I believe it's rose petals. Rose petals and crystals as a little necklace. That's really pretty. Oh, it has a heart on it. It has a heart charm, but it looks like my cord is kind of wrapped up all around it. I'm really bad at untangling things, but there's a little heart charm at the top of it. I'm gonna put that back in here. We have Twisted Allure. Twisted Allure is amazing. If you've never checked them out, you should. This is one of their whipped sugar scrubs um, in red velvet cake called Cupid's Massacre. I have been Massacre. Blah. Cupid's Massacre. I've been trying to buy from this company for forever. Um, I wanted one of their trick-or-treat sandboxes. 
because they had a bath bomb in it and I'm a sucker for bath bombs and they also have really cool night before Christmas ones but they always sell it so fast <sighs> that smells really good it looks like you could eat it obviously I'm not going to but it definitely smells like you could oh I'm so excited to use this And then I believe these are gonna be for your bath. It's a mix of dried rose petals and um, crystals. I don't really know, I guess you would put them in your bath. That's what I'm probably gonna do with them. I'm not 100% sure if there are some Epsom salts that are in here as well. Oh, and we have a little sucker. <laughs> it's just a regular heart dum-dum. <laughs> That's cute. It does not have a card in it. I think that's the only downside to this box that I see. What I really like about Creeper Crate is that when they would do their theme boxes, you would have that card that you would read afterwards that kind of went through um, each company that items were from and what they are and kind of like the value of them and everything. I think that this is a super cute collection. It's definitely like everything that's in this box, I'm definitely going to use. Um, it's a box that is definitely going to be reused for either a present or to display something because it is adorable. I love that they have these. And I don't know if they just did it for Valentine's Day or if it's gonna be all of their boxes. Let's show that to you one more time, retied. Really love this box. Um, I do like the shirt too. I'm not a hundred, like, I just went through and purged a lot of stuff because I wear the same t-shirts all the time, but it is really cute. So maybe I'll just throw it on right now and see what it looks like. Because why not? Okay. So it is cute. I do like red a lot. I'm not really sure, again, how often I would wear the t-shirt. Only because, like I said, I've been purging a lot of stuff um, from my room and from my collection. And um, I've been trying to stick to more, like, pinup theme stuff for work and whatnot. Um, oh yeah, and then we have the print that was a little bit too big for the box. So it was just slid in here at the side. I believe, and if I'm wrong, I'll correct it at the bottom, but I believe the value for the one-time box was $100. Um, with everything that's in it, I think that it is a really cute gift idea to get for somebody. I don't know necessarily if I would do it every single month, if that makes sense. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing some of the other boxes they come up with. They had a really cool like lucky box that they just did that had one of the bat neon lights in it. They also sometimes do um, like a jewelry hanger that looks like a bat. I don't know if the bat was maybe their theme for March and that's why they've been showing a lot of it recently. But this one was obviously a Valentine's Day theme box. Um, but I think for everything that's in it, I will use it. I will wear the necklace. I will use the bath salts. I do wish that there was a card on the inside that kind of let you know exactly like, yes, this is indeed what it is because I don't want to use something the wrong way. Um, tea candles, obviously, I know what those are to use, and a t-shirt, but I, I'm not 100% sure about that tube, if that's supposed to be more like a good luck thing or something with your loved one or um, spell-based. They have, again, they have a lot of really cool clothing that I eventually plan on investing in and um, showing to you guys and maybe doing a review on that. But if you're looking for a new different take on a mystery box, um, I definitely would highly recommend checking them out. Uh, definitely go on their Instagram and give them a follow because they post a lot of information when it comes to their Instagram kind of about what to expect coming up and what's going to be in some of their boxes to entice you a little bit more which makes a lot of sense so um yeah thank you guys so much for watching we're hopefully going to get back to doing this on either Mondays or Tuesdays uh weekly a uh, daily a weekly post for you guys so thank you so much for doing this unboxing with me and I look forward to next week with you guys bye